In this video, I'm going to give you my top five tips for Disney adults at Disneyland Paris. Disney bounding at Disneyland Paris isn't as popular as it is at Walt Disney World and Disneyland in California. But please do it. It's such an experience and really fun thing to do whilst you're there. Because where else are you going to be able to Disney bound as your favourite Disney character? When we went in May, I Disney bounded to match each dress that my twins were wearing. And I had a blast. I Disney bounded as Alice from Alice in Wonderland, Belle from Beauty and the Beast, Tinkerbell from Peter Pan and Rapunzel. And I had so many lovely comments from other guests and cast members. And I even had a couple of cast members stop me while we were in queues waiting for either a show or a ride to compliment me on how lovely I looked and the fact that I matched my twins. We even had Peter Pan come over to us during the 30th anniversary parade to give my twins a high five as he noticed we were wearing Tinkerbell outfits. And we also had the beautiful Rapunzel give us a royal curtsy and blow us a kiss on two occasions during the 30th anniversary parade, which really made mine and my twins day. Also, when we did meet and greets, the characters thought it was brilliant and gave us loads of attention. Ride the ride. Even if you think it's too much of a white knuckle ride for you, or if you think it's just for children, Disney is for all ages. I personally love going on Peter Pan's flight, Snow White's ride, and Le Carousel de Lancelot, as they are my iconic favorite rides to do whilst I'm in the parks. But I also love Hyperspace Mountain, Big Thunder Mountain, and the Tower of Terror, which is also now my youngest twin's favorite ride to do. So just ride the ride, even if it's a one and done. Hug the characters. Please don't be too shy to just stand on the side and watch other people having great interactions with characters. I personally love giving them all a massive hug and they give you the same amount of time whether you're a child or an adult. And it's just such a lovely thing to do as where else are you going to be able to give Mickey Mouse a hug or stitch a crazy cuddle? So just do it, you're in Disney. Don't be afraid to book a solo trip. It's something that I would love to do in the future. And I see so many other people doing it. Whilst you're there, you're with like-minded people who love Disney. So it could potentially make some lifelong friends. So don't be afraid to go on your own. There are other people in the parks doing solo trips too. Don't be afraid to admit defeat and take a short break even if it's just a sit down on the pavement while you're watching the parade or heading back to your hotel room for a little nap. You're not missing much at all and your body will thank you. Then once you've had your little break, hop back on it and get back in the parks for more fun. As a Disney adult in the parks, what do you love most about the parks? Drop your comments in the comments below as I'd love to hear. I hope you found this quick video useful. If you did, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and please consider subscribing and I'll see you again soon.